Okay, this is I'm I'm looking at the nuclear fusion and the nuclear reactions and how the particles react and so forth. This is from the Royal Institution. These are the big shots in in um, physics, and um, this is nuclear fusion, the race to power the planet with this Dr. Arthur Terrell, and um, they talk about getting energy back from nuclear fusion spending trillions literally of dollars to build these machines and the best they have done and they're really excited they've gotten back only 70 percent of the energy that they used in addition to all of the money they spent for the equipment they're only getting back 70 percent of the energy they used to break the parts apart which is fission and then when they came back together it's fusion and they think they're going to exceed break even and I don't think that's possible but it might be we did it but we did it because we could break the particles apart without using excess energy to break them they had to use energy to break cause of fission we didn't we forced it to fizz all by itself and I will show you that right now okay my friends this is going to be about fusion nuclear fusion to power the world and we have done it already this is this is pulse red laser. That is red laser accelerated. This is where it becomes fission and then fusion. The particle that's streaming out of here is this particle right here, a black and white particle attached solidly together. When they end up concussing, they divide and do exactly what CERN wants, and it becomes the muon neutrino and the electron shower. See the muon and the electron neutrino, the black and white, were attached together. They, this is fission. That's fusion. So we have already done this. Now let's see what they have to say at the Royal Academy. Because we've already done this for almost nothing. Listen to this. This gigantic equipment that they have, the best they can get back is 70% of what they put in. Even with all of spending all this money on top of that. It's at the start did a shot that smashed its 2018 record. Like, 2018 I think it's a record, huge big deal. 23 times over. And it reached 70% net of net energy gain. So <laughs> That means they put in a ton of energy. They got back a less than a ton of energy. They only got back 70% of what they put in. They're never going to even break even. It's impossible with what they're doing. We, uh, You have to divide the things for free. You can't divide the particles by putting so much energy in that they divide. You have to make them divide literally for free and that's what we did strictly by using the venturi forcing the white particles to squirt through and the black particles can't make it through because they are like bowling balls we just got pretty much lucky to be perfectly honest with you and we figured this out and for only a couple of hundred bucks you can make a machine that will power your house your car an airplane any of that stuff Never add another an ounce of energy, and it will just self-perpetuate, run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you should never have to do anything to it. Self, it's 100% solid state. And this is it right here. That's all you'd need. You're going to need a little laser to pulse out. You're going to need a Venturi to have it squirt through. This is zero cost. You're going to need a, what they call the thin film. There's some new stuff, I think... Uh, perovskites or something like that but all they are is a bunch of different um, transition metals which can absorb deep in their energy levels all of these free electrons and then they'll just squirt down here like as I showed you the burning will go th down here it's not going to slam everything away but eventually it's going to have to get back to that black stuff and that's where you get all that energy because it's, it's going to push like crazy to get back to that black stuff or the black stuff will push like crazy to get back to the white stuff. I don't care how you figure it. One way or the other, it's push to shove or it's shove to push. And that's actually the particle I showed you. And this is the particle moving forward through the air. Concussing, this one's glowing because it's being charged up as it concusses with the other electrons that are in the air and the gases. This one's diminished in power because the dark matter is ahead of it, not allowing it to charge up. This will charge up enough and rip, it'll flip. And that happens very quickly. Rip, boom, boop, 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 boop. They bounce back and forth, which is, is up spin and down spin, they call it. In other words, this one will be at the bottom, and then in a second or two, this, well, not even that. I mean, it's just, it, that one will be in front, and this one will be in the back.
It'll be discharging, now it'll be charging. Now, that is a photon. The reason with peer review is I'm not allowed to show this. No one will pay any attention whatsoever because they feel that they have all the answers and they have to have these billions and billions of dollar machines that don't do anything. They have never, ever, 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 ever broken even with with these fusion reactors. They just don't work. And they never will work. It's impossible. It's just an exercise in futility. You cannot break something apart and then when it comes back together, it's more than it started with. Impossible. We broke it apart. We split it apart. When it came back together by being in between the two, yes, we can harvest a ton of energy. All right, I can show you, that no, no question whatsoever, we have fission, we have fusion. I expect this to be look, looked at by these people. Now, I, I am peer reviewing them because if they won't look at something like this, it shows not just doodles like they draw. I'm showing you the actual occurrence, and I'm showing you something that can be tested by them. I'm not going to do this again, and they are going to have to be the ones that do it. But I have demonstrated that there's no question whatsoever that that is fission and fusion. If they're looking for fission and fusion, we got it. They don't have to build trillion-dollar machines to do that, and they are never, ever going to come, back, come to even because they, they're, they're not doing it correctly. They can only do it for a trillionth of a second. We can do this all day long and can squirt these particles out. Just all day long. Non-stop. Harvesting energy, driving cars, running the heaters in your house, running the electric water pumps, filtration units, solar lights, I mean lights, aircraft, anything. Anything you want with these little tiny lasers. Very, very simple, very, very high power. And I will just show you right now what that energy can do. That is the energy that you want. Okay, not only have I shown you that we can squirt the white through and keep the black out, I can tell you the relative weights of these two particles. The white is the one that comes first, and it has no mass to speak of other than to burn things. The black has no burn, but it has mass. We will see this combust and then explode and then the stuff will come back because the core back where the bomb was will now only be black matter because it's blown all its little parts away and I have to bring them back so everything turns around and comes back. Watch what happens. The first thing, it'll glow like crazy. Now it's just burning. It's just burning. Boom, there it goes. And now everything comes back. So what have I demonstrated? Pulse red laser. Light accelerating. Laser is light. That is light and it's accelerating. I have shown the particle. We have seen the particle. There's no question. It's a white and a black particle. And I have shown you them in their power potentials as well. And here they are in their power potentials. The black and the white. The black and the white. Here they are concussing. And then they separate identical to what CERN is asking to see and we have done it. The white has no real push to it. It just is a burner. The black got away. That's fission, that's fusion. All right. I think it's time to, to discuss this with me. All right. We started with light. Light is the smallest particles that I know of other than electrons. And they, this is the fission, that is the fusion. That is exactly what CERN and Fermilab and all of the rest, Lawrence Livermore, they're looking for. This is under, you could do this for less than a hundred bucks or so. You could make, we did all of the, everything we did was less than $500. We created fission and fusion. Now, I have been told nobody will do this because it's going to, they're not going to be able to get enough funding from the government to make these gigantic machines and employ all these people to walk around in circles and nobody in the private sector wants to do it because they can't patent it anymore and they can't they say oh somebody in China will just make a knockoff so they don't care about hey, saving the world they just want to make money that's all I've heard we're not going to do this because there's no money in it we're not going to do this because the government won't pay us enough money to, to, to live on that's what they're looking for it's nothing about grants and money and self-interest and nothing to do with the rest of the world anymore now, you saw they had 70%, only getting back 70% of what they put in. We should be able to get back 200 times 
what we put in. And if you look at the energy that I showed you in that thing, and let's look at it again, you could see there's just a staggering increase in energy. All right, don't forget, we didn't add any additional energy whatsoever. This is just a cheap construction laser. It's pulsed. Bip, 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 bip. What that does is it shoots out that box of particles that looks like this. And when it hits the Venturi, because it's tuned exactly correctly to only allow the white through, the black is just too big. It hits and it bounces back. It cannot compress. The white can compress and squirts through. We have divided them for free. For free. Not an additional, uh, tiny, not even a tiny bit of energy used. We just squirted it through that device. And this is 200 times approximately increase in value you see this that is just it's literally a nuclear explosion literally literally and figuratively fission fusion divided apart here came back together here there's no other way to say it and this is tabletop cold fusion this is not something that's going to hurt you there's nothing here that can hurt you the other ones, they're taking huge, huge things and blowing up, and then they're just gigantic hand grenades flying everywhere. That's why you, they, they, they kill you. You can't be around that nuclear energy, that type of big, big, big nuclear energy. We're down in the light range. This cannot hurt you. All, right here is going to be our harvest of energy, and, and it's going to be an enormous harvest, absolutely enormous.